Hello and good afternoon. This is Zibby. My name is Sabrina. And it's been a minute since I've been on YouTube. The last time that I was on YouTube, I believe it was February of 2020. And so much has happened in the world since then, you know, especially with the pandemic. Um, and I said, let me come back on YouTube and, you know, have a little talk with you guys. Um, 2020. You know, the pandemic hit February of 2020, and there was so much that went on. And I have to be honest with you and transparent. I have to be, I have to, real, I have to really be honest. I have prayed the most during this pandemic <clears throat> from February of 2020 up until, you know, up until now. Um, there's still a lot that's going on in the world, and we really have to remain prayerful in everything and trust God in the process. Um in 2020, of course, you know, the coronavirus hit and, you know, people were in a frenzy, you know, there was a lot that went on. Um, a lot of people had passed away, so forth and so on. Um, I was working during the pandemic, continued to work. I'm a teacher and, um, still teaching. And, um, I learned a lot about myself you know, and the people that were working around me at the time, you know, um, it was a moment in time that allowed me to see my strengths as well as my weaknesses. Um, and, you know, I learned a lot about myself and God moved in my life. You know, I was, I was, you know, God allowed me to move literally and he moved in my life and he's continuing to move. Um, and I just want to thank him so, so much for, you know, his protection, for his faithfulness, for his agape love, which is unconditional, um, you know, and there's higher heights and deeper depths in God that, you know, I must attain. And, you know, as saints, as believers, as children of God, we really need to stay in connection, you know, connected to the vine. Okay, he is the source of our strength, you know, the strength of our life. And we really need to stay connected to God in this moment. Um, I have a little bit of a testimony I wanted to share with you guys. So it was last year, which was literally last month. I believe it was around December 30th or the 31st. I'm not too sure. I woke up with pain in my thigh, like literally in my bone, like in my joints. And it was going down, you know, my thigh and... I couldn't walk. I was in I was in pain. Okay, I was in pain for practically the whole day. Um and I also <laughs> I got covid. <laughs> I got covid before um I got covid on Christmas Eve and it stayed with me up until um I, be I believe the beginning, yeah, the beginning of January, you know. Um got tested twice, was positive and positive. <sighs> there was a lot going on last year towards the very end. And um, so I had this pain. And I'm like, Lord, you know, it's the end of the month. You know, January is about to start up and I need to go back to work. You know, so what I did was I got olive oil from my cabinet. And I applied the olive oil to my hip. Because I said to myself, listen, I got to go to work. You know, I got to I gotta do things. My leg was really bothering me because I had went out that day. I went to Red Lobster, got me, you know, some takeout. And then I went to TJ Maxx. And I was limping that day. It was, my, the pain was bad. So, um, went home. And something in my mind said, get the olive oil and rub it on your thigh. And I got the olive oil. I rubbed it on my thigh, rubbed it down my leg, and was praying. And I spelled out Jesus' name, J-E-S-U-S, -S, while I was doing this. And while I was rubbing the oil on my leg, I was bending down at the same time. I was bending down and I was getting back up. I was bending down and I was getting back up and I was trusting God. I was trusting God in, in that particular moment. I kid you not, 
the pain literally instantly started to go away. You hear me? And I was praying and I was trusting God and I was praying and I was trusting God in his healing. And that's when I needed at that particular moment because I was in pain. And, you know, I was having faith and trusting God and praying. I'm in my kitchen and I'm praying. I'm walking in the living room and I'm praying, trusting God and trusting God and trusting God. I kid you not. Woke up the next morning and the pain was gone. The pain was completely gone. And it's, I'm not going to get emotional. It's in that situation that it doesn't seem small to me. It's not small to me at all. And it just, it just, you know, it enlightened me and encouraged me. It, 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 it had me to look at God differently and to look at myself differently. You know, greater is he that is within us than he that is within the world. We are able to heal ourselves. You know, we don't need to go to a, a, a pastor, no disrespect to those that are in leadership position, you know, but this pandemic has really taught us that, listen, it's about us and God. You know what I'm saying? So it encouraged me to really, you know, to see that I can do it. Not not I, but it's the Christ that is within me, you know, to have enough, you know, belief in Christ and, you know, heal myself you know, with the power of Jesus Christ, you know, so I was grateful and that happened before, you know, the new year and it encouraged me so much, you know, and I just want to say to anyone out there, whenever you're feeling pain, whenever you feel, whenever you may feel sick, you know what I'm saying? Call on Jesus, pray to him, you know, get some anointing oil. If you don't have anointing oil, just place your hands on the area that is, you know, in pain or whatever is going on within that area and trust God, trust God that he is able to heal you. You know what I'm saying? Because that really encouraged me. And I, I think back on it and I say to myself, Lord, if you helped me through that situation, there are many other situations that you're going to be able to help me through. Like currently I need a situation right now that I need you know, Jesus to help me, you know, and grant me grace in this situation. You know, um, we go through things on a daily basis and, um, I cannot rely on my own strength and, you know, I have to trust God on a daily basis. And, you know, I want to thank God for healing me as well when I had COVID, you know, and, um, I had it from December 24th and I was negative by January 9th. You know, sometimes um, the virus will stay in, in a person's body up to two, three months. But thank God, I, I, I believe I had it for like maybe a week and a half, you know, and I was praying, you know, and, and really just giving everything to God, you know. So I'm COVID free, you know, I'm doing my best to stay healthy and strong and, you know, sometimes, you know, God has, you know, other things, you know, planned for us and the enemy wants to step in the way. And um, recently, you know, um, something had happened to my car. And I was like, okay, you know, I got COVID last year towards the ladder. My hip was bothering me. And now this happens to my vehicle. I'm like, okay. And there's other situations that have been happening. And I'm like, okay, you know, whatever doesn't kill you, you know, it makes you stronger. Throughout, through all of this and throughout this, you know, I, I will continue to trust God in the process. Trusting God is not, sometimes it's not an easy thing because our faith will be tested on a, on a daily basis. Our patience will be tested on a daily basis. We have to pray for patience. We have to pray that we trust God more, you know, and let us really have a genuine relationship with Christ, you know, and, 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 and get to know him, you know, from heart, from heart. 
And, you know, it's not about gimme, gimme, gimme and what you can get from him. But let us really sincerely worship Christ for whom he is, because, you know, he really wants to use us, you know, for the advancement of his kingdom. And there's so much that is going on right now that if you rely on the news, you will go crazy. OK, and I don't listen to the news in the morning. I, I do, you know, for a little while. But the first thing I have to make sure that I do when I get up in the morning is pray. I have to pray, I have to read my word, and I have to present my day before God because there's so many things that, you know, happen. So, you know, I just wanted to share my testimony about, you know, God healing me. And, um, you know, I feel as though I'm getting closer to something. And I feel like the enemy is, you know, he's not getting to me. So he's going to get to things that, you know, that are around me. You know, it can be possessions, it can be people, you know, your job, you know, what have you, personal life, whatever the case may be. Um, and um, I'm not perfect, Patty. I'm living life one day at a time. And, you know, um, you teach me, I teach you. I welcome open, you know, you know, criticism, constructive criticism, you know, and I'm open minded right now to whatever it is that God may have for me in my life. Right now, it's me and God. It's me and Jesus. And, you know, may he continue to guide and direct my path. And may God continue to guide and direct your path in whatever way, you know, Christ has you to go. And just trust in him. I'm just getting a text message from my friend. Um, just continue to trust in him. And know that he is able in the midst of everything that's going on. When you're following Christ, it's not about tangible. Tangible. I got to see tangible. It's a faith walk. So we have to continue with our faith walk in Christ. Read your word. Stay prayerful. Because right now there's so much spiritual warfare that's going on currently right now. That we really need to spend time with God. And when we pray, be still. Because... The majority of the time, Christ wants to drop something in your spirit that you need to that you need to listen to. It's imperative. So um, I just wanted to share that. It's my, you know, it's Zibby Z, but my first name is Sabrina. And I just wanted to come back on and um, talk on my YouTube because it's been a minute. And, you know, we're already in the month of January. You know, it's the end of January and February will be <laughs> literally in a couple of days. And, you know, right now, for me right now, personally, I feel such a pressing. But, you know, it's not going to crush me. You know, I'm being crushed, you know, I'm being pressed. But, you know, God is doing the pruning for his, you know, for his, for a reason. And I'm thankful for it. You know, I'm really grateful and I'm thankful to God for everything that he's doing in my life. All right. So feel free to like the video feel free to comment below if you have anything that you would like to say any words of encouragement i would appreciate it trust me i would appreciate it i would appreciate it so much and i encourage you as you as well as you encourage me and i hope to load some more videos i'm gonna get more into my editing i need to edit and you know have things going on on this youtube it's been so long it's been like over two years all right so God bless you all and take care. Okay. Bye. We can do all things through Christ. Bye.